Hello everyone and welcome to today's stream of Bakery Simulator. This is going to be a first look. Here we go. I'm kind of excited about this one. It um, reminds me a bit of Cooking Simulator, which is one of the first games I played on the channel. Only you also have to drive and deliver the food, which is interesting to me. And we all know how much I love driving in games because I'm excellent at it. <laughs> uh, so let's get in here. Uh, John was here earlier. Thank you, Sarah, Norm, Purple Bubba. Good to see you. Hope you guys are all having a great Tuesday so far. I have to hit create new again. Oh, okay, now I hit my... Okay. Uh, <laughs> you think it wants me to do the tutorial? Uh, scoops are used to measure ingredients and put them in the bowl. They have different capacities that can be switched using Q and E from keyboard and mouse wheel. Okay. You run out of ingredients, press tab and choose resources from radial menu. And the baking market products are split into three categories. You know what? Let's just hit and do the thing. Welcome to your bakery. Your biggest dream came true. You've opened your very own bakery and you're ready to flood the city with fresh pastries. However, it's just the beginning. There's a lot of hard work ahead of you. Build reputation, gain experience, and become successful in the world of baking. There's a lot of responsibilities, but don't worry. You'll make it. After all, this is all you've dreamed of. The first order is waiting for you. I only have two dollars. Okay. WSAD. Control to crouch. Oh, left click. <laughs> I'm right clicking. It looked like that was the one that was lit up. Okay, this is how you're going to start your work from now on. Press R to continue. Three breakfast buns. On the left, there's a list of shops with current orders. Now only one order is available, but later in the game, you'll be able to pick more than one request from a match from a much longer listing. On the right side, you'll find a map with marked shops. Based on it, you can check the location of orders and decide which part of the city you want to make a delivery to. I'm gonna get so lost. I hope there's a GPS. Press on the board to collect it. Okay, but before you move further, let me teach you about the recipe book. Open the radial menu, press tab. Switch between multiple tools and categories. So we've got reset position, call for delay, recipe book, progression, economy, customization, and baking supplies. Okay. Here are all the recipes that you already know. Right now it's not that much, but don't worry. With every new level, you'll learn new ones. Bookmarks on the side make navigation easier. Okay, so right now we can make breakfast buns. Uh, each recipe page contains information about the steps required to prepare the order, as well as ingredients, mixing time, ingredients, and baking time. Why is ingredients in there twice? Okay. You can choose the number of products to bake by using the arrows. The recipe will adjust accordingly. Oh, good. Escape to close the book. The checklist is visible on the right side of the screen. It helps you to follow through the recipe. Complete it perfectly. Uh, press... Ah, oh. It's a little grungy looking, but... The bowl is average and small, but don't worry. During the game, you'll be able to unlock bigger and more professional bowls. You'll also be able to upgrade their capacity. Now it's time to collect the needed ingredients. Go to the ingredients rack. Okay. In the bottom left corner of the screen, you can find the scoops. For now, you'll just need a one 
gram per, per milliliter scoop. You'll like the ingredient by clicking every time you are using the scoop by pressing and holding the button. By holding it, the spoon will refill itself one by one. Okay, so I need... It's not gonna, okay, how much butter do I need? It doesn't even take butter. Let me click something else. Why is it making me click butter? This doesn't even take butter. Oopsie, look at the checklist. It seems you've added the wrong ingredient. What will you do now? Silly tutorial. <laughs> I'm not comparing it to my kitchen, John. I'm comparing it to the cooking simulator game. <laughs> hey, Chris, good to see you. By the way, anytime you make a mistake, you'll see the exclamation icon next to the failed step. Oh, so the failed step is the entire recipe. Got it. Don't worry, this mistake can be fixed easily. You can remove only the last added ingredient by pointing on the ingredient container. Click one time or press and hold to control the amount of ingredients removed. Do I have to click on the container? Um, it literally said click on the ingredient container. Oh, right click. Uh, cool, but what to do when more than one ingredient in the bowl is wrong? You can remove them by using the trash bin. I'll show you how it works. Collect the highlighted ingredient to the bowl again. Now move to the trash bin and left click. Ah. Remember, with this method, you can get rid of the entire contents of the bowl. You can also use the trash bin to throw away other things like burned bread or used bread forms. Okay. Daisy's mad that we wasted butter. Anyway, let's get back to baking. Look at the ingredients rack. It seems that one of the ingredients you need is missing. Don't worry. This is where the baking supplies tab in the radio menu comes in handy. All right, what are we missing? We've got yeast. We've got milk sitting out on a shelf. That seems good. We have no sugar. Oh no, we have sugar. What are we missing? Wheat flour is right there. I am confused. Baking the spice tab is where you can buy missing ingredients. Oh, I don't have enough wheat flour? Okay. I'm very confused by the economy in this game. Is this buying me? Buying me. It's costing me $1.20, so I have nine cents left. Okay. Purchase products don't immediately arrive to your bakery. You usually have to wait for the delivery to get them. This can be a little troublesome, right? However, you can speed up the delivery process, but be careful. It may cost you a little. I only... How did I get more money? I only have 80 cents. Press on wheat flour to speed up the delivery process. There is one simple trick which will help you avoid paying for a faster delivery or waiting for ingredients to arrive. Just buy all the missing products before choosing an order. Being prepared for the day will save you some money. Okay. Now with all the necessary ingredients, you can finally start preparing your order. Uh, now we can go back to the scoop tool. Look, this time you can choose different sizes of scoops. To change the size, press Q or E or move the mouse wheel. Ah, okay. So I need, I don't think it tells me, like if I hover over it, it tells me like how much is in here. I need the entire container. Now I'm out again. Okay. I need six grams of yeast. Okay, 
60 of water. I'm so gonna mess this up. 60 of milk. And three of sugar. Okay, now I can mix all the ingredients. Transfer the dough to the mixer by left clicking on the bowl. Now press the button on the mixer, casing, and wait for the dough to be ready. Watch the widget carefully so you don't overmix the batter. Okay. So it's not a countdown, it counts up. Right? Daisy's upset that we wasted the butter. I could have made dog biscuits. Is butter good for dogs? I don't know. That's true, Sarah. Cooking simulator, I went three episodes at least before I even learned how to use the trash can. <laughs> Although this time, the clicking it didn't clean my bowl. My bowl is dirty. How do I put my bowl down? Uh, check the upgrade option, point to the mixer bowl, and press U. Turbo mode. How did I get so much money? Oh, it's giving me just enough money to buy turbo mode. Okay. Buttons are formed with bare hands. Put down the bowl on the table in the middle of the bakery. Ah, now I can put the bowl down. There are various forms of pastries from long bread to croissants. As you gain more and more experience, you will learn how to create different forms. But for now, you need to form buns. We can only make buns. Hey, Daisy, good morning. <laughs> Butter's not really good for anyone, but it's yummy. That's true. All right, dividing dough is the first mini game. Wait for the indicator to reach the green area and press space bar. If you do it in the red or yellow area, you will receive minus points for the final score. That one was good. Okay, forming the dough is... But I only made two. Oh, I cut it twice into three pieces. <laughs> forming the dough is the second mini game. Grab the ring and move the mouse to match images with their shadow. Ah, it lets you go too far. Okay, so don't go too fast. Now put your freshly formed buns on the tray. Can they fall off? No. <laughs> That's already a step above uh, a step above cooking simulator. Hey, good morning, uh, Eddie. Oh, I'm sorry your son is sick. Yeah, hopefully they figure that out. Um, however, if you have just an old oven for now, don't worry, you'll acquire better ovens later in the game. Okay, be careful. This oven doesn't have a timer, so it's important to check baking process from time to time you can check that by pointing at the oven door when the baking widget appears you will see the timer for each product as well as its baking process okay do I just take it out with my bare hands yep And find the delivery crate next to the door the amount of delivery crates always determined by the number of orders you picked up on the current day Each delivery crate, okay, crate has the client's logo on the side to help you identify the correct crate. This one is going to be delivered to Five Minute Bakery. While holding the tray with baked pastries, press left click on the crate to place the buns inside. Oh, over here. Put the tray back on the counter. Prepare the buns for delivery. Pick up the crate and place it in the orange highlight at the blue area next to the door. The crate will then be moved to the delivery car. Okay. Remember that later in the game you'll be able to stack crates on top of each other to deliver multiple orders. 
Now the order is ready for delivery. Move to the door and press left click to leave the bakery. Okay, here we go, folks. We're driving. Here you can choose which order you want to deliver. You got only one order available, so we already picked it for you. Press the move to city button to move to the city. Oh, so it looks like we could probably pay to like later on just get this stuff done. Okay. That's so true, Sarah. I don't think I would have noticed all these issues if I wasn't trying to read this out loud. Because <laughs> it trips you up. <laughs> uh, this is not the end of your task. Delivering the orders is, an important, is as important as preparing them. During this part of your job, you have to be as fast as possible. Remember to watch the timer at the top of your screen. Later in the game, you'll be able to hire a courier to deliver the orders for you. That'll be nice, right? At the bottom left corner, you can see a mini-map that will help you navigate through the city streets. To check the whole view of this area, you can open the city map. Before we move further, press tab to open the radio menu. You can find some useful tools that can help you with deliveries. So reset position, call for delay, open the city map, decline order. Okay. Okay, you're ready to make a delivery. Move your vehicle, use space to brake. Okay, so I need to go... Are there like traffic law issues in this game? No, this is not the in-game music. <laughs> All part of the plan. <laughs> GTA Bakery DLC. Relationship improved. No delay, 100%. Today's reward, golden bread, a sourdough starter, and plus 300 bowl capacity. Cool. Maybe it's time to take a little break from all that baking. Do you know what's always fun? Makeovers! It's time for a bakery renovation to give it a fresh feel. <laughs> we did one order. Uh, customization. Point at the main table. Um, I did that already. This is the main table, right? Why is it not? I'm afraid that if I do this and it's not triggering the next part of the thing. Congratulations, you've just completed your first order. Don't forget what you've learned today. It'll be useful in your further experience as a baker. Good luck. And we're done. $5,000. Yay, now we have money. Yes. Five breakfast buns. Do I have all the stuff I need though? I'm gonna assume that we do. Where's my bowl? Okay, 250 of wheat flour. I almost clicked that one and put in 300. Okay, we're at a hundred. Hundred of milk, ten of yeast, and five of sugar. Okay. So far, I remember how this works. 
Can you buy a fridge? I don't think so. That milk thing's freaking me out, though. Look at us go. Oh, now we can make more stuff. Pretzels. Buns. Oh, space bar. Oh, that wasn't the best. Let's try to click. Like, why isn't it working? if you get it wrong. Come on. You think you just lose points? Like, does it malform or does it just take longer? All right, let's go. Oh. Why can't I do it? Risk of failure. Why can't I do it? I want to deliver it. Do I have to, like, earn that right? very confused by this like look now I can't do anything um... I am confused Yeah, like, what do I do? Um, I don't have other orders. Because there's no folder here. It's weird that the delivery option is gone, too. What have I done wrong? Um... Because this is just the same. Okay, there's roadblocks, but... None that seem to be in the way. No, because their their folder's not here. The guy would need the folder to click on. Maybe I can't leave with my oven open. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now. Um That's my recipe book. Try reset position and see if that does anything. No, it's still. Um, anybody have any other ideas?
Check the time or display at the top of the screen to track the time left to deliver the order. Yeah, I need the thing to... Uh... Move it to the blue area next to the bakery's door and place it on an orange highlight. Once you leave the bakery to deliver the products, the crate will automatically be placed in your car. So I have four minutes left to do it. Oh, that's the boost. Um... I think it's just bugged out. I mean, it, it can't be, it can't be a bug because, um, you can't actually click on the order. It doesn't do anything. Like I can't move my mouse over to click on it. And G just brings up the little description. But yeah, if it was a bug, it, I don't feel like it would give me the road construction. But uh, the fact that this was an option and I didn't click it because of the chance of failure and now it's not an option anymore? There's got to be a trick to this I'm not understanding. Or it's just broken. But, I mean... Just did the whole tutorial. Yeah, I'm gonna let this timer run down and then see what happens when we fail. We're not in the tutorial anymore, so it shouldn't be forcing us to fail. Is there no sink in this kitchen? How do I wash my bowl? That's weird. Good thing it's not like cooking sim because I would have just thrown my bowl away. <laughs> We're going to try a few more times until that timer runs out. And then yeah, I might have to start over and see what it does. Hmm. The game's been out for a while. Um, I didn't get the key right away when it released. I was actually surprised when I got it last week. But it's already had like a post-release update. Like I, I don't feel like it should be buggy. This doesn't seem like something that should be bugged. No. All right, well, we've got a minute and a half left to wait to see what happens. Still got plenty of all this stuff. I am displeased so far. This is not a good start. Hmm. <laughs> Get baked. <laughs> 54 seconds left. To keep clicking this button. No, yeah, there's nothing. Nothing has changed. I don't know why I think it would. We've tried putting this in both spots. We've reset position to start everything over. Thirty seconds. You're not buying this till they had pets and weather and werewolves. 
That would be an experience, wouldn't it? And we have failed. Oh, man. Okay, so nothing happened with the failure except an overtime countdown. What happens if we skip a day? Okay, we're gonna do this again. High hopes. Hey, Sarge, good to see you. Yeah, if skipping the day doesn't work, I'm just going to go back out and we'll start again. Now that I've done the tutorial, the little, like, new game button will hopefully be unlocked. At least this doesn't take too long. It's not a very complicated game. Maybe it gets complicated once you have a lot more going on. But so far, it's not. I've watched a few people playing this, but never... Um, from the beginning, just like later when it was more successful. Hey, Quentin, good to see you. Okay, into the oven. This does make me want to play Cooking Simulator again. I never did end up making a successful burger in that game. not what I intended. Okay, so you can just take one off the pan. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, thanks for popping in, Eddie. Good luck with your son. I hope he feels better. Yes, yeah, see, I still can't do this. Call for delivery. Total cost $3. delivered all right so it let me at least do that this time it let me do that <laughs> hey pie hmm The achievement I just unlocked for this is our baby yeast is growing up. All right, two bronze bread. Yeah, maybe I just don't have access to the car yet. That should really be made more clear. And then the fact that I backed out of the delivery broke it? I don't know. Strange. I don't love that part. It's not like a very good first impression. Ah, turn it off. Okay.
Uh, what am I making? No, really, what am I making? Bronze bread? Come on. Okay, this one you have to do multiple times for the same bread. Got it. Yeah, it really should have been explained better because then I wouldn't have backed out on the delivery page. And backing out on the delivery page shouldn't mean you can't go back and select delivery a second time. It makes sense that this one would take longer because it's bigger bread, but... They look delicious. That looked like a good loaf of bread. Yep, still can't do it. I mean, the tip is double. Level three, wholemeal flour, a bigger thing, and more recipes. <laughs> Have a good meeting, Sarah. Okay. Ooh, two orders. Can I do both? Like, not so far. Sourdough starter. Where are you? Oh, right here. Okay, 640 of water. Eight hundred twenty of wholemeal flour. Okay, three hundred. Of you, 24 salt. Ooh, this one makes us quick. This is a long bread, I guess, right? I mean, I don't feel like that was super clear. Probably was if I'd read it. <laughs> no, too far. See, like, the picture of this, like, that looks like it's in a bread pan, like this. A bread form. But it didn't tell me to do that, but now I feel like I should have. Feel like I definitely should have done this. How? Hey, Salem! Banana bread with no nuts is the best kind of banana bread. I like it with nuts, but I prefer it without. I wonder if I can make those at some point.
Oh yeah, that's definitely wrong. How many points do you think I'm going to lose? For it being the wrong shape. I got an 80%. That's not bad. I wonder how you do those. Grab one. We're going to find out. I'm going to do this one. I really should check my ingredients. Seems like my stuff is magically going up on its own. Would be cool. Put the bowl over there. Um, I'm just gonna do long bread again and then see. Maybe after it's formed, you put it into the dough thing. I mean, like, that's what I would do if I was making regular bread. I definitely went through the whole like 2020 stuck at home sourdough bread baking phase. My starter was named Scooby. And I made like two loaves of sourdough bread every day. <laughs> Maybe every other day. And I was just giving them away. Okay. So, how does it work? First of all. Now I'm just stuck with this dough. Oh. Do I put it in just right from here? Okay. Um. I have to put this thing and then pick up that thing and then pick up this thing? No, see that just stuck it next to it. Wait, what? Oh, this is cool. I don't know what I did. Oh. I don't know how this works. Okay. This is not at all what I'm supposed to be doing right now, but that was cool. Put the bread like on the mold station? No? See, another thing that is just not clear here. Like maybe this should have worked that way? What are you? Rounded divider. Has that been there the whole time? I'm just gonna cook this and call it a day. I'll take whatever hit I have to take. Maybe it's in the help section. 
Um, red rounder, dough divider, warming board. Nope. Or check on this bread. Okay, no, we're good. Bread pan? You have to use a forming board to form loaves of bread. Press left click to put mixed dough in a bread pan. To bake bread, put the bread pan on a baking tray and put it in the oven. Okay. So you don't have to use the forming board at all. Interesting. Okay. Probably should have consulted the help section a little sooner, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. like pushing the random speed up button and trying not to go too far. The last thing I need to do is overcook this thing. At least they cook at the same time, even though I uh, made them three different shapes. <laughs> uh, 77%. I only made $55. Okay. Well, that was kind of predictable since I... clicked too quickly to tip. It was all of this like it's 1.27 in that flower. Um, let's do this one again. It should be a repeat of yesterday. water. All right. Okay, so I do have enough flour and I should probably order some more. Do I really have to order water? That's dumb. Although I guess there's no sink, so technically, technically it makes sense. Just have to wait for the water to show up. Two and a half minutes. worth a dollar. Um, Nine hundred and sixty. Why did that the water circle have a different color? That's true. That's true, Purple Bubba. The, the developers might be somewhere where that's like the norm. Okay, so now let's go... Oh man, I thought those would still be here. But did I waste all that money on them? There we go. Okay, so that's how that works. Can I put these on here now? Yep, I can. Why are they not... Why are they only 96%? Did I get my water amount wrong? I must have.
Come on. I'm too impatient for this. Okay. Close. Oh, look. Leaves little dwarves behind. Well, that's better. At least we got it the right shape. <laughs> and it was enough to level. Okay. I don't love that, like... If I wanted to buy more water, would it refill this bottle or would I have to buy, like, pay for a full bottle of water even though I don't need a full bottle of water? Um, let's do this one. We haven't done that one yet. Hopefully I don't regret that. Uh, yep, like that. Wheat flour. Okay, that'll take three minutes. Okay, 300 of milk. Fifteen sugar. Sixty sesame. I do like that it breaks it down by ingredient compared to um, like cooking simulator, for example, where it just is immediately put in as a mixture, and you can't. Uh, you just have to do the math and keep track carefully. You can't actually see, depending on what it is, exactly what you have there. I feel like once you've waited a certain amount of time, that price to get it instantly should go down. Oh yeah, now that I bought it, I should actually put the wheat flour in. Uh, how much is in there now? 40? I need 60 more. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, right now, Salem, it only lets me pick one a day. Hopefully, at a certain level, that will increase. Because right now, without, like, extra chaos of multiple orders to juggle, this is very repetitive. that most sim games like this aren't repetitive. Um, let's see. Long, long breads. But usually that little bit of extra challenge of um, having to juggle extra things or what? use extra tools adds to it we will see I'm trying to grab the shadow instead of the actual piece which is silly Look 
that worked in real life, like, just put the temperature up to, like, 300. It'll be fine. What could go wrong? Cooking works that way, right? You can just do a higher temperature for less time and everything comes out fine. Totally how that works. <laughs> All right. I say I'm already level six muffin forms. Okay. So now we can make muffins, theoretically. Let's look through the... See if it says anything. First of all, what's this thing? Semi-automatic machine that divides and forms dough into squares, triangles, and circles. It's not even that expensive. So I feel like at some point this is going to get more hectic to the point where you'd need to use that instead of that thingy. Um, point five, two... I don't regret saying this, but I think we're going to be okay for ingredients. Let's do... Let's do this one. They pay the same, but I have to pay extra to get these low forms. So to get the ones that I have to form myself are more cost efficient. Oops. So that's going to be annoying. Uh, can I buy two of them? Yeah, see. I don't enjoy that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do it right away because we already know I'm not going to wait the three minutes. milk 28 salts plenty sugar 24 yeasts 80 sesame okay The pizzeria says, buy her pizza, we need the dough. That's cute. I should check the upgrade screen and see if I need to, like, use the upgrade screen to buy a car. wanted to do that. Uh, long breads. Eh, not the best. I'm not the best at these time things. That's why when we were playing Dead by Daylight, I was so bad at reviving people. You had to hit the timing just right on one of those little things. Wait. Oh no, it's good. For a second, I thought I only had three lows.
be bad if this thing could like blow up. I did this too much. It just blew up in my face. <laughs> We're not making bad money. I mean, even with that failed first order, we are at $481 so far. Profit. Yay. Level seven. Sheet day muffins, muffin on the go, eggs. Sting. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you have to upgrade each object. So, I hover over the door? No. Day nine, next level rewards, new workplace. Okay, this just changes the type of door. Okay, I don't think that how that works. Okay, so let's say I wanted to order water. I have... Oh good, okay, so it would let me buy 1.78. Is that the full price or is this the price specifically because it's how much I need? Huh. I wish I knew. So like, is this $4 because I only need one more kilogram or would it be $4 for all of it? delivery so I wonder if like an overnight delivery is instant okay so either of these take loaves it's not like it matters where they are it doesn't let me do it anyway let's do this one okay so yeah, doing it at the end of the day seems like the best because now it's a new day and it's refreshed and it's already here. Full meal flower, this one. Six. Forty. Six hundred on the sourdough. 48 salts. Okay. Let's make four of these. My gold on. Oh no, I gotta turn this thing off. No, I overmixed it. Next time, I'll get those put out before I start my recipe. Oh, I can only put in three. Okay.
These are cooking at slightly different times. Huh. Okay. I'll be patient from here. <laughs> that one like did that one keep cooking I don't think it did yeah two and two to even it out I'm leveling up every day Okay, so now if I go to order baking supplies. This one's expensive. Are these all the same price as they were? I'm not sure. I got tons of that stuff. Farmer loaf, five puppet bread, four old fashioned loaves. This one pays more and I wouldn't have to pay for the loaf form thing. So let's do that one. Wheat flour. it salt next twenty five sugar thirty yeast uh oh here we go and one hundred sesame Took me a second to remember what like the undo button was. I didn't get any penalty on that other one for over mixing either, so that's good. I would love some fresh baked bread right now. I would do that. I had time today. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably a busy day too. Someday. I tried to make a new what am I doing I tried to make a new sourdough starter like after the whole 2020 thing because I missed doing it and I could not successfully get one to work 
which was so frustrating because I did so well. Like I'd never done it before. So my first time out of the gate, I was like, this isn't bad at all. And then for whatever reason, I tried like four more times a year or so later and could not get it to work. Still no sign of a car as a daily reward. Upgrade to tier two available. A new workplace is required to level up further. It has more space and allows to purchase more specialized machines. The next day we'll start in a new place. Okay. Oh, now I have eggs. Uh, I definitely need more of this. Mm. The rest of this seems fine. Let's see what we've got. Sarah, you checked a few first looks of the video from about a month ago. They didn't even have the delivery option. Just stay or move to city. Interesting. So they were driving around delivering right from the start then. 16 puppets buns. Let's do that one. We haven't done that yet. Okay. That's probably more wheat flour than we even have. Maybe not. Right at the tutorial, they could drive. That's so strange. I mean, I feel like it's a big part of the early game. Like, why would I be able to... Why would I be able to do it later in the game if that's when things would theoretically be more hectic? Like, right now in the beginning, when I have the least amount of money, should be when I'm choosing to drive... to save money. Like right now I'm spending so much on delivery fees that I wouldn't have to be if I had the ability to deliver. Would we consider this a bagel? Looks like a bagel. Ooh. 
Oh man, doing this 16 times is going to be kind of annoying. Okay, so at least it's not just me. It is whatever they changed in that recent update. And I think the update, like the post-release update they did was a couple of days ago. That might be why they started giving out more keys to it. Because of the big update. Hey, booty! Where are my... Where? There we go. Come on. The road construction symbol reminds me of like how a developer would put something in that's like not in the game yet. So something that would be in as like a placeholder for a feature that's coming. Come on. What? There we go. Okay, so I don't actually have to move my mouse on that one. Or on this one. I just have to click and hold. That's good to know. I'm wasting a lot of energy, like, trying to move the mouse when that's not necessary. You just have to line it up and click and hold. Yeah, exactly, Sarah. Like, why would it be in the tutorial still if you couldn't do it? And um, if at initial full release you could do it, why would they have taken it out of the game? Because I still stand by the fact that paying for the convenience of delivery should be a late game thing. When you are too busy and you don't want to waste time driving anymore. Oh wow, three hours in, at the end of his stream, he still didn't have the option. Sarah, you're the best for researching for me. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. With how quickly we're leveling, if you can play for three hours and still not be able to deliver, that's, that's problematic. The 16 buns thing was potentially a mistake. This is taking so long. And even in the tutorial sections, there's like, you can get a car and a truck, but it doesn't say like what you have to do. This is probably where having a machine to form this stuff would have been helpful. I probably need to pay for some more kitchen updates. <laughs> I have the money. are going to fit. Any? I 
Okay. <laughs> Little hand finger puppets, that is what they look like. Did I do all this wrong? Because I did this based on the picture of the symbol. I'm so dumb. I did this based on the logo of the bakery. The donut shape is grandma's bakery's business logo. These buns were supposed to be just regular like short bra bun things. And why like it should have been this. No, this. They should have just been buns. And I made them into like bagel shapes. I don't even care that I'm leaving one behind. I'm annoyed now. <laughs> that was so silly. How many points do you think I'm going to lose? 66%. <laughs> I wasted all that time for nothing. Yeah, clearly the logo of the company. All right. Oh yeah, look, uh, spices. You can now make your baking even better by adding extra spice to it. For each recipe, there is one good, one which is gonna give you extra money and experience after de delivering order and bad one, which will give you a penalty. However, we won't tell you which is good and bad. You need to find it by yourself. Discovered spices will be in recipe book. You can find spices in jars on a shelf. Good luck in experimenting. Oh, great. That's fun. What's this? What is it? Flower silos. Silo machine connected to large flower dispensers. It's ideal for large orders. Auto refill of missing products. That's going to be nice. Ooh. All right. Well, that's fun. This is my regular stuff. What's this? Oh, is this? This is the same thing, but for the liquids. Oh, let's buy this thing. Still not 100% sure what I would do with that, but okay. Ooh, big mixer. Wait, I upgrade my oven yet? No. No, I cannot. What are you? Rack oven. They're not expensive, honestly. Oh, so now I can actually set the temperature. Okay. Are my spices? Mascarpone. Oh, look, jam, dried cranberry. That's an interesting mix. Hey, so order board. Let's see. Poppets bun, morning buns, puppets breads. Let's let's do this one. It's more money. Okay. So how do I do this? like put a bowl under it I don't know how it works I'll figure that out later wheat flour well no I should figure it out now how do I can I like take this big bowl I can I 
do anything with ah okay Ooh, fancy totally unnecessary yet fancy but I can't put it under this one oh okay now I can water Is this faster? I'm not quite sure, honestly. But it's fun. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Uh, milk. Yeah, I'm not sure this is, like, really the most efficient way to do this, but... Um... Sesame, 30 sugar. 42 salt. 36 yeast. Okay, do I want to try to put a spice in this? I don't know what spice I would put in this. It's just sesame bread. Patrick, there's a, a few weird things about the game I haven't really looked into. You can't deliver, it's not working. So that's kind of a bummer. I don't have a clue what would go well in this. I'm just going to not. <laughs> All right, let's put this back over here and mix it. I'll check when this one is done too, but for some reason, after the tutorial, when you finish an order and you go to deliver it, that option's blocked off. You have to pay to have it delivered for you. You can't drive out and do it, which is silly. Like, that was such a big feature of this game and one that I was really looking forward to, that aspect of it. So it's odd that you can't. I also did an entire order. Um, making the shape based on the logo of the company instead of what I was actually supposed to be doing. So that happened. <laughs> uh, this is long breads. too far sometimes it like really grabs it like and locks it in when you get there and other times it'll just seem to let you whiz right past There it is. Uh, okay, but I only have one. 
to try this new one. To close the door on it. Oh, this one you can't see how done it is? Oh, I don't like that. But I'm short a pan. Do these work? Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, that's my bad. I have a ton of pans down there. So this one I could have set the timer. I didn't look at this closely enough. So I could have set it, like the recipe says 50 to 70 seconds, so I could have set it to 50 seconds. And then uh, walked away. At least I can kind of see it. It's a little blurry, but it's color changing in front of us. Okay, so these ones are done. How far behind was this one? Not much. Yeah, see? Not an option. At least I got 100% on that one. Divider. I mean, a lot of these don't really seem. I guess I can buy them just for the heck of it because I have the money. So, this would theoretically divide it into the number of pieces I wanted of each shape. And then this one would make me circle or rounded loaves. This one, still not 100% sure on what I would use it for, but we'll figure it out. Do I have anything else that I could do that I don't see? Any other random wrapped presents? Do I need supplies? Um... Not really. Yeah, nope, seems good. All right. Four oh five, yeah, let's keep doing the one that makes us the most money. Uh, eight golden bread. Can I fit this into a little bowl? Technically, I think I can. I just have to do it from... I don't know, see that's only three. And I can't get any out of here, okay. I need the big bowl to get it out of this thing. And I need... A lot of let's do this again. 
Come on. Okay, it's set to water. I need 1600. I don't have that much water. Let's try milk. Tell me how much I have in here. One, yeah, 148 liters. Oh, I didn't click the thing. Didn't put the hose in. That's what I didn't do. There we go. Okay, now 56 salt. Forty sugar, forty eight yeast. Okay, and we mix. the community steam page they're revamping the entire delivery car driving thing so it's temporarily unavailable oh. all right so at least we're not crazy and it's bugged but i still feel like there's a a better way they could have indicated that in game maybe even if it was just like a a warning screen when you load in or something So I want eight of these. No. I assumed that they were going to fall in there. I mean, that was probably my bad, but. Let me put this down now. Oh, now it lets me put it there? At least these stick. They're not going anywhere. 70 croissants without the auto roller? Sounds like a nightmare. All right, 50 to 70 seconds. Oh, set time. Okay. Timer's not bad to set, at least. The cooking simulator timers are useless. This game does really make me want to go play that again, though. <laughs> oh, so close. Ninety nine percent. What need to say one hundred? Seriously? Are we? I'm done. I 
I haven't played the um, Shelter expansion for Cooking Simulator yet. Of all of the expansions, that's the one that looks the most entertaining to me. If I were to get an expansion for the game, it would be that one. I might do that. Ninety-nine percent, not too shabby. Yes, in Cooking Simulator, how hard it is to get everything. Like if all these things fell off the pan <laughs> as I was walking. Ooh, auto refill. Auto refill is a really good one. Definitely worth the money. Does this one do it? Oh, this one takes level 12. Okay. All right, let's see. I guess we're fine on everything else. Let's see. 1% off for having floor bread. Hey, bread! Um, 10 Twin Brothers buns. Oh, this one's 420. But I'd have to buy the loaves, the loaf pans, so I would lose money on that. But, I mean, it, it's 420. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Big mixer bowl. We want rye flour. And I want... Okay, perfect. And we want this one. Nope. Uh, two, two, four of water. Oh, nope, gotta put the hose in. Okay. Oh, I need a lot of wheat flour here, too. Okay, I can use this one for that. And then 84 salt. Okay. And now we mix. It's been an hour and 50 minutes. You've missed so much bread. Yeah, you guys don't get to watch me drive. I mean, I guess you did in the tutorial, but that was nothing. <laughs> bread their hood. Dishonor upon your bread their hood. Okay, so this time, I just need farmer's loaves. Two, three, four, five, six. Can I start a second row? No, I cannot. I can put it over here, though. Oh, this bowl's like right in my face. Okay. Oh, I 
walked right by the pans. Am I still missing one? Oh yeah, I didn't take that last one. Hey, Estes! Your main joke used to be, I'm doing just fine. Brotherhood is a very good joke. Uh, how much do I want this for? 50 seconds? At least I got all of them in there at once this time. Is it the same developer as Cooking Sim? I don't think so. I'd have to double check who the developer of Cooking Sim is, but I don't think that it is. Cooking Sim has come out with a lot of DLCs for their game. And this is a lot more basic. Um, you don't have the issues of ingredients not landing in the pot or things falling off of trays so it's possible I'd have to look it up but I don't I would be surprised I don't think it is I like that it stopped and opened it right at the time, too. So, like, if I hadn't been standing right here, it wouldn't have overcooked them. Oh, welcome back, Eddie. Your son has a viral stomach infection. Oh, no. That's a lot of weight to lose. Yeah, hopefully that works for him. Poor thing. Oh man, <laughs> I was hoping we'd make it to 12 for the autofill on that one. Bummer. Oxy loafs. Alright, well this one's 420 again, so let's do that again. Recipe. Ooh, I hope I have enough sourdough starter. I didn't check that. Where's my... Right here. <laughs> uh, wholemeal flour. So I need 28.70 of wholemeal flour. Cat, good to see you. Uh, two. Alright, do I have enough sourdough starter? Yay! Just enough, looks like. 84 salts. Okay. Um, mixy pixy. And then need seven more of these. Ah, I turn off. Okay, put you down. This is very deja vu. It's literally what we just did. Two, three. 
Hey, Stu, good to see you. Hey, Legion. Scrolling back through chat. Hope you guys are all having a good day. In a lot of ways, it's smoother than Cooking Sim. A lot of ways it's smoother than Cooking Sim. There are certain things I really don't like about it, uh, by comparison, like your um, bakery items are... Come on. Oh, I'm scrolling the mouse the wrong way. Your ingredients are set. So like in Cooking Sim, first of all, when you buy something, it's instant. You're not waiting three minutes, but like this sourdough starter only holds, like I have this one bottle and this is how much it holds. So if I were to get a recipe that took more than this, I'd have to use it all up and then wait three minutes for a new bottle to get delivered. I don't like that part of this. Because like in Cooking Sim, for anyone who's not familiar, I could buy like four bottles of sourdough starter and just leave them on my shelf. And or if I needed more, it's just click on the box, buy some, it's instantly in your hand. But things stick to the tray. Like I could throw this tray across the kitchen. I don't know if I can actually do that, but if I could, it wouldn't fall off the pan <laughs> or tray. Prescription medications are so much money. It's insane. Uh, okay. Oops. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Can I shift to run in this? Kind of. Yeah, I can. You got a long time to do it, too. Like, this order. I still have 17 more minutes to complete it. I, it's just a, I think it's a, yeah, it simulates having to wait for an actual delivery of the product. You can pay double. You can pay twice the price to have it be instantly delivered, but that's a lot of money. I don't think I actually can throw anything. Like I said that, but everything... Like, even to put it down on a table, you can only put it down on those highlightable areas. So I don't think I can throw things the same way. <laughs> yeah, three minutes isn't bad when you have, like, 17 or 20 minutes to do the whole order. And it would probably be fine if you had, like, multiple orders going on or really big orders or something. When you only have that one thing going on, three minutes is a long time to just sit and stare. And maybe not even if you were playing the game, but... Three minutes of stream time where nothing's happening feels like an eternity. <laughs> I did get the full 420 minus the pans. All right, so now I can auto refill. Now I can auto refill the liquids too. That'll be nice. Wi-Fi thing is cool too. What did I unlock Wi-Fi for? Because it definitely said I unlocked Wi-Fi. Turbo mode. Oh, so you can set a timer for the mixer. Might as well, right? All right. Um, now that I said that about ingredients, let me check this. So I do want more sourdough starter. Water I'm fine with. Flowers I'm fine with. Yeah, that's the only one I was really worried about. Okay. 
if you do, it feels like a punishment to you because like I haven't started the day yet. You start the day once you click on that folder. So I haven't started the day yet. So since I just did that order, when the day starts, it will be there. So it simulates like the delivery coming overnight or something like that. So really, I feel like the timer is just a punishment for not paying attention to your um, stuff in advance. 466, but again, I'd have to pay, I'd have to pay for the pans. So these actually work out to be better. This is the same price, but I only have to make 11 of them. So let's do that. And maybe we can try out the triangle cutter. We haven't tried the triangle cutter yet. I really don't need to use the big pan. Rye flour. Two twenty of yogurt. Two twenty of olive oil. 22 of baking soda. Twenty two salts and eleven sugar. Thirty three sunflower seeds. Ah. looking at this okay um so now but i use this thing to divide them but it's not really a choice and i guess it would be a bun right How do I set it to go into more of these? I need 11 pieces. This might not be what I'm actually looking to do. Yeah, see, that's not right. How do I change this? Let's just go do it over here then. I wish I could make cookies. This place. You see, like, I can't, like, do... Oh, I guess right-click does throw the bowl. That just drops it. What do you think? Buns? Yeah. I really want to try the little shaping machine. Oh, but is this just going to make them... Yeah, this is just going to make them round buns. So how do I then make them triangle shaped? We take them from here and then put them in the triangle shaper. Because if you hand divide it here, it automatically makes you form it. Although I guess I could do escape to leave. 
is this thing. How do I load them in? Ooh, can I put them on here? No? I don't know how this tray works. Can I use this thing? Okay, so I can put them in a storage box. Come on. Now, can I in any way load them up in here? Where did where would it look like it loads in? Like you'd put it in here. Or do you think you have to do this? With like the whole bowl of dough. Hmm. I don't think I can do anything with it anymore. Probably gonna regret this. All right, didn't let me do it at all. Where does it look like this would load in? Like nothing highlights to put something down. It looks like it would go in there and then be like squished, right? Like you'd put the dough under here somehow and then pull the lever. And it would come down and squish it? Uh, I really don't know how I'm supposed to make these triangular. We're just gonna go with it and I'll take whatever... Oh, well, whatever. I'll take whatever hit I'm gonna take. Yeah, it does look like the red plate would go in there. Let's... Unless, like, you have to put the whole dough on the red plate, maybe? Oh, okay. Yep, that's it. Now how do I change this number? Change shape. There's no like... I'm gonna make like one giant triangle. Oh no, it's gonna make one tiny triangle. Oh, look at it. Oh, is this even worth it? I feel like it's not. This is not worth it. Ah! Alright, you know what? Quite frankly, now I'm stuck. that one that it doesn't have any seeds on it. Oh, my tray's full. <laughs> We're gonna be a hot mess on this order. A hot mess. Okay.
Oh, it's automatic. It knows how many servings are on the tray. That's how it does it. It's just smart enough to know. Okay, well, now we know. Uh, 25 to 40 seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna get a low score on this. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. What percentage do you think I'm gonna get? Three out of the 11 are the right shape. One of them doesn't even have the seeds on it. I have no idea why. The triangle ones look overdone compared to the rest. I didn't even, I ended up with an extra. How did that even happen? That one without the, uh, that one without the seeds must have been the extra one. No way. There's no way that should have been a 99. I mean, it works for, it works out for me. It, it benefits me, but there's no way that that should have been a 99. <laughs> Ooh, butter. Surprise donut. Donut machine. We make donuts now. Just got an achievement called Croissant of Friendship. Where does the donut machine go? Normally when there's a new machine... It's like a little thing that lets me, uh... Unwrap it. You know what else we unlocked that I haven't seen? Is the, um... Muffin trays. Oh yeah, muffin forms. Cause I, that would be because I didn't buy them. Huh. Whoopsie. All right, let's do let's do one more order. <laughs> I'm graded on a curve. That makes sense. All right, let's see. Loaves, muffins. Let's do muffins. Now that I realize that I can do muffins. Let's do the big bowl. I want to try the whole Wi-Fi thing. We need 420 of milk. There's a lot of 420 in this. I put the triangle one on top so they saw it when they opened the box and thought, okay, cool. That's valid. That makes as much sense as everything else. Oh, put the hose in. Olive oil, 210. Eighty-four sugar. Oh, put in too much. Here we go. Eighty-four yeast. The yeast, right here, right in front of my face. Two hundred ten eggs. A small egg is forty-five. Okay, wait. I need to do the math on this. 
Oh. Oh, mini game. Yeah, that's fun. At least it tells me between each one. Oh, that was that was close to being very bad. This is gonna go over. Because each one's 45, yes, and I'm at 225. Too much egg. Well, that's... How was I supposed to get around that? Oops. A little dough ball in the bottom of this giant bowl. Uh, raisins. Raisins. Uh, see you later, Legion. Have a good rest of your day at work. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe you're supposed to crack it into a different bowl. So now we see if this thing turns off on its own. Ooh, it did. Cool. Okay, so now I need 42 muffins. I probably should have done this first. Can I put them here? No. It's 12, 24. Wait, hold on. 12, 24. That's 36. One more. Too much math in this. Why doesn't it let me load it up? Uh, okay. I assumed it would be like the loaf pan where you just kind of click it and it goes in. Work the other way? No. Um... Thoughts? Anyone? Say something about muffins? Press each slot to add paper cups. Got it. And that's why we look at the help feature. Because <laughs> I never would have gotten this. That is different in industrial cooking. The recipe calling for an amount of eggs versus um, or like a measurement of egg versus an actual number of eggs. Why is this one not working? Okay, let's try a different one. Here we go. Makes a really interesting splat noise. I have to like get it just right for it to register. I would be so upset if I had to like trigger each one of these individually. <laughs> second it pops up with the the message about hold to drop all that should mean it's in a position that lets you do that all right 
right, let's move them off the other table and then try that. How many of these can I fit on a tray? Probably only two or three, right? Two. Ugh. Ugh. Three would definitely fit on this pan. Like, you could fit a third one there. Oh. Well, that time it took it. Alright. Let's try this. Maybe that's where they are on the table that's not making it want to work. I had that one for a hot second. There we go. Okay, so these need to be at 180 for 30 to 50 seconds. So this is my first time having to turn the temperature down. And we want 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go, muffins. I probably should have put like a secret ingredient in this. Like cinnamon might have gone good with raisins. Did it again. Grab the tr what? They brought the whole rack. I don't like raisins either. These would be especially upsetting because they look like chocolate chips. And is there anything worse than thinking something's chocolate chip and then finding out it's raisin? I love oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. They're probably my favorite cookie, oatmeal chocolate chip. And there is nothing worse than thinking it's oatmeal chocolate chip and having it be oatmeal raisin. Like, it's just so sad. I guess no cookies would be sad. I don't know. Would no cookie be worse than having a cookie that wasn't what you expected? I did worse on that one because of the egg issue than I did on the other one. <laughs> I've gotten the completely wrong shape. Expecting an oatmeal raisin with chocolate chips and getting only oatmeal and chocolate chips would be worse. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't like the raisins, man. I don't like them. Oh, here's the donut machine. How do you think this thing works? Let's take a look. If there's an order for donuts, I want to try it. If there's not, then I'm just going to call it here. Oh yeah, donuts. Okay, let's figure it out. Let's do the donuts. Okay. Question is going to be how does one cut the donuts? Ew, these have raisins too. Raisins in a donut? Seventy. 
And then... Alright, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Where are you, butter? Ah, butter. Oh, it's gonna do the egg thing again. Uh oh. Oh, it's space. I think you get shells in it. Oh, that one was dead center. 135. This one goes fast. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a little too much egg. 18 sugar. Eighteen yeast. Ninety raisins. Okay. And now we mix. Okay, so. Let's read the help document on donuts. First, put the dough into the machine tank. Before turning it on, set the temperature using the knob on the console. Wait until the oil temperature light is turned on. When the light turns green, twist the knob to activate the machine. When the donuts are formed and fried on one side, flip them. After frying both sides, place them in a crate next to the machine. Okay, so how do I... How do I make... the donut shape. Like, does this one do... Yeah, see, this one will do donut shape. But only for, like, the portion size. This one would cut it into circles. In theory. Let's see what happens with this thing. just cuts it into this. Let's try this machine. This is just a divider, so I feel like yeah, it's gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna spit them out into so then would I have to manually make them manually make them Why is that one so much smaller than the rest? Did you put the whole dough in there? That's what, like, should have happened. I wonder if the donut machine, like, automatically cuts it. Oh, yeah. That is... Look, I can put the whole thing... Put this just in here. No. 
Okay. Oh, uh, this thing. Okay, so that's good to know, so it doesn't... Come on, will you go down? Ugh. So you don't actually have to do anything with the dough except put it into the donut machine. It is a full service donating machine. Just good to know. Put down the bowl. Okay, so... Donut machine. Before turning it on, set the temperature using the knob on the console. Wait until the oil temperature light is turned on. When the light turns green, twist the knob and activate the machine. Oh, okay, now it's going up. Needs to be at 200. No, not 220, 200. It doesn't even look like oil colored. It's, so it's the right temperature. Start machine. Left click. Left click. Nothing's happening. Definitely says turn the knob to turn on the machine. The light's on. This doesn't appear to do anything. The dough's in it. Right? I mean, the, oh no, the dough's in the bowl? Now I am even more confused. Okay, so there's dough in it, but it says 0% on what... This is frustrating. Temperature lights on. There's nothing in the donut machine. That is the problem. But it's not letting me put dough into the donut machine. I swear at the beginning, I, there was like a thing that made me feel like you could put it in here. I think it might be bugged out because it's not showing like what's in the Is there another bowl somewhere. It's not showing me the ingredients or the percentage that it's done anymore. And I put it here. No, see I can't even put it on the forming board. I broke it. There's nothing in there. All right, I broke it. This time it really is a bug because I can see that all the dough's in there. It shows all my ingredients now, but it doesn't show. Maybe I have to mix it again? Okay, let's do that. Let's mix it again. Maybe because I started with the big bowl and then put it in the little bowl. That messed up like the mixing timer of it. Okay. 
now it's recognizing it as a doe. And now it, now it's in the machine. Okay. All the lights are on. There we go. How do I flip them? Oh, you have to click them. Okay, so there's some that are a little burnt. This is hectic. Good lord. Okay. Well, I mean, I was picturing something more mechanical, not like click on all the donuts all at once. That was a lot. That was a lot to keep up with. Come on. They look like hot Cheeto donuts. Like, they didn't turn like brown from burning. They turned red. It looks like I made hot Cheeto donuts. Let's see how rough that was. <laughs> 68. <laughs> uh, 68%. Bigger muffin forms. So now we can make big muffins. Interesting. I don't think I would eat a hot Cheeto donut. It doesn't sound too great, <laughs> honestly. It doesn't sound too good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Um, I am not going to come back to this until they fix the delivery driving. I have to say that I am not thrilled that they didn't make it more clear that they took that feature out when that is one of the features they push the most about this game. Like that's what took this game a step beyond the other cooking simulators with, that you had to actually manually drive and go deliver your product each day so i feel like they the fact that they took that out and then it was just kind of in like a community post on steam um i'm not loving that i wouldn't have even figured that out if sarah hadn't gone to look it up for me so a little disappointed in that choice overall the game's not bad um, I feel like I got a little more confused than I had to be because I didn't look at the help section enough, but you know, that's on me. That's not necessarily the game's fault. <laughs> Some of it I think is a little too confusing, but most of it, I think if I had gone and read the help section for each piece, I probably would not have been so confused. So read your help sections, everyone. <laughs> Lesson learned. But overall, it's not bad. Um, I'll definitely play it again. Like I said, I want to play it again once I can actually do the driving because I feel like that would have added a lot to it, especially for me and for you guys <laughs> with me as a driver <laughs> in games. <laughs> uh, um, if you want to keep a look at my schedule, it's up on Discord. So I've got the rest of the week planned out there tentatively. Um, and that will be the first place you'll find it if and when I pick this up again once they fix that feature. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that YouTube hopefully lets you know when I'm going live next. And until then, have a good one everybody.